Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Mali. We are continuing on from where we left off in our Gathering Storm playthrough. We do have to pick a Civic now. We have unlocked Democracy, and I believe we've already plugged in all the things that we want from Democracy. Now, a couple of people did make the suggestion of putting in a card that I forget. The Vizsla Banking. Um, and that's that's a fair that's a fair point. Um, but the question is, what do I get rid of here? All of these things are really, really useful and powerful. So what do I replace? And that's kind of why we haven't plugged in Whistle Banking. Uh, so hopefully that kind of explains it. Besides, now that we are democracy, we get plus four food and plus four production for trade routes to an ally anyway. So we don't really need to worry about that. Okay. So in terms of victory condition, I believe we were going for a scientific or diplomatic victory currently, as it stands. So uh, we want to try and just generally get through the tech tree and get to some of the late game stuff. I'm going to pick up... Hmm. I don't need any of this. I don't need that. It might be okay to pick up professional sports or getting another spy at Cold War seems pretty reasonable as well. We can also claim another great person and this is a pretty decent great person plus two uh, regional effects. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, I did delete that unit right. And so over here we don't need it. We don't need any more settles. I could settle here but I don't really think there's much of a point. Um, See, I would like to maybe get another archaeological museum, perhaps. Although there's not a whole lot of archaeological stuff left, but we might be able to find some over on this island. And indeed we can. And then I suppose I could get you to slowly build me a seaport. You are working a lot of sea tiles. How much is a seaport? It's already 1,200 gold. I could probably just buy that uh, in the near future. And work projects in the meantime. We completed some industrial zone logistics over here. We don't want to get any of these. I'm kind of regretting building a uh, thing in here. The shipyard might not be bad. It's a plus six production. So we'll grab that. And then we'll just build a sewer. So we'll do a little bit of building, building. I really should, if I'm going to invest this much into a, um, if I'm going to invest this much into re-spreading re my religion, I should really just do an inquisition and get some inquisitors and do it that way. I think it's a little bit more faith efficient. I was trying to just be like sneaky and not get uh, inquisitors, but uh, I don't think it's really working out for me. So I'm just doing a bit of converting. Mostly to be annoying. Uh, so this guy is triple spread. So what I want to do is cut down their faith pressure. So basically, every time you spread your religion, see there's 2,400 pressure here. If I use a missionary, there will be uh, 2,100 pressure. So basically what I'm doing, I'm, I'm eroding the amount of pressure in the city with my missionaries so that there's more room when I put my um, apostle in here to flip the city. It's just a slightly more efficient way to do things. And now you can see I have the majority pressure in here, which is pretty damn good. And our religion should continue to spread just fine. I have a couple more spreads. I could probably convert one more city. And Estergom is probably a good choice to, uh, to do that in. Well, I do have a couple of these guys. If I'm going to do Estagom, maybe it'd be good to work on... Can you really not make it through there? I'll go there. So this one is an extra three tile range, and I think I want to do it on this one right here here because this is going to reach a lot more cities and in fact if this thing gets extra range because it'll go from being six tiles to 12 tiles so it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, 12. So it'll basically reach my entire empire, so I could probably convert this to oil, no problem. Uh, and in fact, we will do that in Karina. We're going to prioritize uh, converting to oil here so that we use up less coal, we send out less emissions, and overall, we're just a little bit more, uh, more efficient in how we do things. We'll take five turns, but that'll be fine. When I, we want to reduce the amount of emissions because we don't want to be a major contributor contributor to uh, climate change because we want it to happen a little bit slower so that we have time to build flood barriers to protect any tiles. So anything we can do to slow it down uh, is quite good. So he's upset that I occupy one of his cities. That's fine. He's allowed to be upset. I will allow you to be upset on a continuing basis. A world without radio. Let's see, we have radio. We just revealed aluminum. We have some aluminum over here on this tile. Um, we have some aluminum over here. It's already improved. And we have some over here that is unimproved. Okay. We're going to choose our research now. And I'm thinking as a backup, we might want to have a scientific victory going on at the same time, just, just in case the whole um, diplomatic victory doesn't, doesn't turn out quite the way we want it to. Now this apostle is going to launch an inquisition. We'll get us a little bit of error score. More importantly, we'll get ourselves a couple of Inquisitors and start cleaning up some of this religion stuff that we've been running into issues with. And in fact, we might be able to then redirect these missionaries. Oh, you already used your charge. Whoops. We want to kind of send these guys towards going in the water is really powerful we want to convert buddha if we can so that what that will do is it'll erase some of the pressure in here for the other religions and put some pressure in my pocket as it were why don't you go pick that up unit needs orders over here somehow you survived you shall steal some science by pillaging. I don't know how long you're going to survive. It's like Reina is being moved in over there. Interesting. Continue to be annoying. We completed the aerodrome in here purely because we want to build a biplane for one of these city-states. Somebody was asking me about that too. Why am I building uh, an aerodrome? It seems pretty pointless. Because one of these city-states had a mission to train a biplane. It was Nazca, and that's worth to do. That's worth it to do. It'll take 13 turns, or we could just purchase one. We're pretty good on oil. We do need to be using less coal. Yeah, so I'm just going to purchase a biplane. That'll do that right there for me um we could get a hanger uh i think we might just slowly work on a food market in here although there is something to be said again working these projects i think is more efficient and i think it's actually worth it to work campus projects so we'll do that over here we built a sewer and we're not getting the benefits from a factory I would like a holy site. I'd like a campus. I'd like a theater square. There's not a very good theater square here. Um, unless I could get something like the Crystal Red and Tor. I would like to place this somewhere that doesn't screw my farm. So this is really the only district slot I have left. And it might be worth it to build an entertainment complex over here on the edge of my empire to try to just get a little bit of amenities. I know he's getting some regional amenities, but just getting two extra amenities over here means there's two extra amenities to spread amongst my other cities. I want you to run that way. So we're going to start just, just chipping away at the pressure in Buddha. It's now the 4,000 pressure now. We're getting there. We are getting there. This might be a faster way, actually, to get to this city. Go around the long way. Um, we're going to do this. Regional buildings are more effective and reach further. So if I update this, the factory is now giving 7 production, which is really, really great. Uh, Inquisitor. Should we run up over here. 
And the second Inquisitor is going to run up over here. You can't move anymore. That's fine. Uh, I want to trade for gold. And I want to look for people like here is a really good trade route right there. Gives me production and gold and food and all the things that I desire. Just grab an artifact out from there. We just want a few artifacts to try and boost up our culture gain. And we'll go to the next turn. He wants to buy my astrolabe. I will refuse that deal. No, thank you. Appreciate the offer, buddy. But that's going to be a no from me, dog. Chemistry. There is research labs now available. I am going to go ahead and grab a seaport down in this city. I think it's worth it to get a seaport down here. Um, because it'll help with the growth and it'll also provide more gold. See, this city should jump up to 94 gold. So that'll, that'll start just getting my gold income up to a pretty stonking good point. And I think I'm going to actually prioritize seaports here. Hmm. I've never prioritized seaports before, but I think it is a thing that can be done. I'd like a water park, and beside the neighborhood is a good spot. Because it would provide plus one... It's already got max appeal. Hmm. So maybe it's unnecessary. We'll do it anyway. That's theoretically the best spot. And we just need more amenities in general in our empire. If we're going to keep growing nice and tall... We're going to need more stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and work another project. I'll do some commercial hub projects, I think. And over here, we have ourselves. We want to use him last because we want to clear out some of the pressure. So if we look here, they have uh, 3,700 pressure. If I spread, now they have 3,300 pressure. So we're eroding 10% of the pressure at a, at a time. And then we're going to do that again. It'll come down to... Oh, it didn't actually come down at all. Hmm. Interesting. Can that only happen once per turn? But we'll do this again. Now they're down to 2,000 pressure. I guess the tooltip just didn't update. And this should convert the city. No, we're really, really close. We're really close to converting Buddha, which will be a big pain in the ass. I'm going to tell this guy to just go into alert. I don't need the biplane. I'm going to bring you up this way to here. Um, I want to make sure I have all my stock exchanges bought. So let's do a little bit of a cycle through. Oh, there's a stock exchange. And here. Uh, faith purchasing. So let's just cycle through nice and quickly. Oh, I could faith purchase a district over here. Oh, I don't actually have a harbor here. Well, let's do that. And grab the lighthouse. We have some more governor titles. And I for sure will grab the grants because I would like to get the space initiative. If I could, it'll make getting a space victory a little easier. And then if I do this again, in theory... The factory in this city should now start producing uh, nine. So that's a nine production factory. And I think it reaches really, really far too. In fact, it might even reach over to this city now. If I... Yeah, you can see, look, it's getting plus nine from a factory. Uh, in fact, it might even reach all the way over to Dia. Yeah, it's getting plus nine from a factory. I don't think it reaches here though. No, it doesn't reach this city. So nine production from a factory is pretty insane. So basically, this factory is providing production to almost my entire empire. In fact, it might even reach all the way over here. Yeah, it reaches all the way over here. I don't think it'll reach down here. No, but it might reach here. Yeah, it, so basically, there's two cities in my empire that aren't being covered by this factory. This city and this city. This factory gives nine production. That's an insane factory right now. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I've never actually had that combo, and now I respect... Um, great engineer points a lot more. I've never seen anything like that. So I'm going to just farm a bit of experience on this guy by shooting the city. And then, uh, you know, it'll make him a little bit stronger. I have an Inquisitor. Let's get into the city. Let's get into the city. 
Uh, you cannot. You're going to get attacked, which is unfortunate, but you should still be able to perform your primary function. In fact, you might be able to kill, get a kill here. Which would be pretty nice. I like it. That would be a major defeat. But it should be a kill. Should boost my religion a bit. So let's do another here of cash money. And now we've converted his capital. Which is exceptionally annoying for us to have done. Now this city has a lot of pressure from my religion. And in fact, there's a lot of my religious pressure in here. So we're going to want some more missionaries, I think. Uh, let's get them going. I think the closest holy site I have is here. Let's get a couple of missionaries and an apostle. Oh, I can't quite afford an apostle. Oh, well, we'll get another missionary. We'll have three more missionaries to go. Be annoying. It's, it's entirely possible for us to go for a um, religious victory here. It could be a thing that we do. I just figure spreading my religion is a way for me to turn my faith into uh, more gold per turn because my religion has church property and scripture so the passive faith spread is quite good so we've done another encampment training over here uh, i think it's time to build this stupa this will cut into their uh religious pressure quite a bit there's a builder here i, th I think we could put, always put a mine on this tile hey look at that thing of beauty so we do need to watch out for that. Let's see if we can't escape. I think this would be a bad time if you get hit there. I won't be selling you the Annunciation. Looks like another city was conquered. Somewhere in here. Forbidden City, Statue of Liberty. And um, we converted to oil over here, so now we should be spending a lot less coal. And we should be pumping out a lot less CO2 per turn. We've already pumped out a lot of CO2 in general. But now a lot of it's going to be coming from um, other sources. Let's make sure we get all our seaports, because I feel like they're going to help a lot in this game. Perhaps it could be fun to play around with seaports. I never usually do go for seaports. I always kind of find them to be a, a low priority thing, but I thought it would be fun to maybe go for them this game. If I get the shipyard, I won't be able to afford the seaport, but that's fine. Um... I think the research lab is more important. So we're using a lot of oil for power. Let's grab the Ferris wheel. Only take five turns. We've got food market aquarium. I like the get idea of getting the aquarium. I do need to hard build a little bit of stuff just to make sure I'm getting things in a reasonable amount of time. Can't purchase that. Let's go ahead and just build a food market in here. I'll just keep making a few mines. Okay, we've got some missionaries. Let's send these up this way. Mainly mainly doing this for, uh, you know, we could threaten a religious victory too. It's an option. We have the we have the faith income to do it. So, I mean, why not threaten the, the, the victory condition? If we, if we can do it at basically no cost while also generating gold, there's no real reason not to do it. Where is the nearest holy site? Over there, you're going to get healed up. And uh, I could use some battle missionaries, but I don't know. Like, we're not really too worried about actually converting this guy. It's more of a, just like a side quest. 
uh, as a way to think about it. it. Looks like he spread back here. And we got the Kilwa Kisaniwa at long last. Oh, he's upset that I, I built a wonder. He's just going to have to continue being upset. Uh, we are going to recruit this guy. It's a pretty damn good um, one. An extra trade route is pretty valuable as the Mali. Let's grab that in our capital, actually. We'll grab the trader in here. Can I get another one? No, that's it. We're up to 22 trade routes, which is a lot. Let's see, National History Museum. I don't know which one of these really helps me. I guess the Royal Society is perfectly fine to go for here. And in here, we've completed the workshop. We want to get the research lab. Let's just, per I want to make sure I'm getting at least one research lab every turn if I can manage it. Um, I'll just do a commercial hub investment for now. Oof, we need to get the university in here. And then I'm going to hard build an arena. You complete the sewer. So you have a decent amount of housing and growth and stuff like that. Pretty good city now. Um, might be a good idea to do industrial zone logistics plus one appeal to Anita's owned by it. Is there a particular great person type that we want out of these? I don't particularly care for this great engineer, so I might skip it. We might just do uh, commercial hub investments because they seem pretty decent at this point. We've got a sewer in here. We have a harbor. We have a neighbor. We have a Sugiba. We have a neighborhood. Uh, I think. It might be a good idea just to pick up another theater square because this city has a particularly good theater square right there and then i could put a water park on that tile to get the plus three which is a nice round bonus so if i put the theater square right there i can't place another district can i no but we'll get the theater square up and running a few theater squares is always worth picking up um in my opinion This city definitely wants a holy site right there. Look at that. Plus 10 faith. There's also a good one over there. Uh, potentially down the line. Which will be this city's um, objective. We're going to send an envoy now. We're getting a lot of benefits from our envoys. Let's have a look at the envoy screen. I don't particularly need Buenos Aires. I don't particularly need those. I would like to get a little bit more science from my universities. I'd like to get a little bit more gold too. It's a hard choice. I think I'll put two points in there. We'll confirm that placement. A little bit more gold never hurt me. That's uh, basically two gold per city. Did that not trigger? Am I at war with that city state? Interesting. Hmm. Maybe the maybe the gold already triggered. Sometimes you gotta like refresh it and stuff. I'm gonna get you to heal up. That's a major defeat. Just run around and keep spreading. Form a little defensive triangle, so if they attack any of my missionaries, they all defend each other with the adjacency bonuses you get. Yeah, you can only do it on your own. You can only do it in your own territory. Let's chop there, finish that a little bit quicker. Another city-state has declared war on me. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We will pillage this Niter mine. Get that little chunk of science. Uh, we completed industrial zone logistics over here. Let's grab ourselves a research lab. Don't need a factory. We could use a spy. I'll grab a spy. We always want to have our spies maxed out. This isn't a great city to build a spy because I've got things I need to build like that. And over here, we'll trade there. It's going to put you to sleep there. So we're kind of doing a little bit of light religious battling. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm not really too worried about it. See, we're, we're hurting his religion quite a bit. He's having to expend his faith to defend it. 
we could, if we put a concerted effort in, probably just completely flip him and eliminate his religion. Um, I don't know if that's really worth it for us to do, so I don't know if we're going to make an effort to do that. The Cold War is not There's a Cold War. Most importantly, we get rock bands now, which we can play around with too. If we wanted to switch to a culture victory, it's not entirely like the most difficult thing that we could do. I don't think this is the game for a culture victory, though. <clears throat> um... Haven't really made any great works is the problem. Professional sports could be good. Get the Estadio de Maracana. It's a lot of amenities here. Plus two amenities to each city in our civilization. It scales really, really nicely. Uh, we're going to pick up another research lab. Oop, right there. And you're going to work on... Uh, let's see. Plenty of food surplus. Why don't you work on a... Do a campus research project for me. That's fine. There's an AT crew there. Oh, you're going to take a double shot. That was a mistake on my part. I shouldn't have moved you there. That was a kill. That was unfortunate. Uh, for unfortunate decision making on my part. Right, you can have my diplomatic points. It's all right. Making a lot of them. And I don't really care about spreading my religion. It's, a, it's not really a priority, so I don't mind just like getting these guys expended if I can. Uh, I don't want them to die, however. So where is Reyna? Let's have a look at our reports here. Uh, city status. What we want to look for is a city with really, really high production. Oh my god, there's building expenses. So city Walata is 88. So we're just looking for a number that's bigger than 88. Otherwise, we're going to build it in Walata. is Niani, 91. So Niani looks like the place where we're going to get our spaceport. Now we could hard build a spaceport. Take us 20 turns. Sure, let's do it. Let's hard build a spaceport right there. I almost never hard build my spaceports. I almost always purchase them. Uh, well, you know what? I, th I still think it's worth it to purchase them because Pingala is probably happy to be moved somewhere else. Uh, maybe a city with more population like Segu. I tell you what, we're gonna move Pingala to uh, Segu. And we're gonna reassign Reina. No, sorry, we're gonna use Faith to purchase it. Actually, we can do that now. We'll put uh, this guy in here, and we'll be able to Faith purchase the spaceport in a few turns. But we're not actually gonna work on the spaceport thing. That's kind of a silly idea. We will go ahead and um, get the Royal Society up, and that'll finish just about as we're ready to purchase it. So we're going to pick up Flood Barriers now. We want to be able to defend our territory because we're getting pretty close to a Flood. Uh, in fact, we have had a Flood event and we're going to need to deal with that. So what we want to do is we want to try and find and acquire all of the Flood Tiles that we can find in our Empire. And um, make sure that we fix that problem. In fact, we don't have a lot of Flood Tiles as far as I can tell. There's a few in here. This industrial zone got pillaged, which is why I'm kind of glad I didn't build that up, really. Um, we've got a completed commercial hub project. And you should be able to see now, uh, even though we're emitting, even though we're burning a lot more oil than we were coal, our... Um, we're still using a lot of coal, which isn't ideal. But we're not, we're not, we're not suffering quite, quite as bad. All these cities are powered, right? This city is unpowered, which is... Not ideal. Uh, we're going to do... I'm going to queue up some projects in here. And I think I'm going to do like... Well, actually, I could do with a few theater square projects. Why not? Let's do like three theater square projects in here. Keep the city busy for a while. I do have the goal to purchase a... Research lab, if I so wish. And I will go ahead and grab the research lab. So it's, it's a nice boost to my science income. And... Just swap these guys. I don't care if they die, it's whatever. We have Inquisitors around that we can fix any problems that happen. 
We'll go ahead and pick this up. This will upset them, but I'll be able to promise not to pick up any more to get 30 faith with them. I'll grab the Suleiman. That's fine. I'm gonna go to the next turn. That's fine. It probably hurt my religion. Yeah, I'll move my archaeologist elsewhere. So he'll be like, oh, cool, I did that. And the other relics that we want to pick up are outside of his borders anyway. Okay, we completed the Ferris wheel over here. Um, a food market might not be terrible. This city already has a huge food surplus, so it's probably not a good use of our time. Um, it might be better for us to get an aquarium in here. And we look for the stupa in here. We can get a sewer. I think we will grab the sewer for that little bit of extra housing. And ooh, a seaport as an option. Makes this into a very, very, very attractive lake. Did I ever pick up pikemen? I think I did. I think Huey has been taken. I would have liked Huey this game if I could get it. We're just slowly building an amphitheater in here. I don't think it's worth it to purchase it at this point in the game. Uh, and we're going to be starting to move all of our trade routes to our capital because that's where we plan on doing our spaceport projects. We're going to need some spies to defend it too. So that's something to keep in mind. Looks like a spy just did an action against me. Looted capture. Oh, well, we have a spy there defending. Uh, we completed the holy site over here. Let's just purchase up into a completed one. And then we'll hard build a stupa. Uh, we got the arena in here. That's good. I'm considering some options. I could get a holy site. Like, it's not a terrible move. The city has... The city could use a district that I can actually, like, work the tiles in. Um, I, I did get a Sagiba, right? Yeah, 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 okay. And the city has the food to justify getting more districts. If I crushed a farm, I don't think it would be a big deal. I mean, I guess I could, in theory... Put a holy site right here. Crush a relatively bad farm. I would lose six food from this, whereas this one, I would lose six anyway, and a production. Whereas this, this should be fine. So these tiles are equivalent in the adjacencies that they're providing. This tile is actually maybe slightly better. No, 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 it's the same. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna crush this because it's beside a mountain. And we have a sewer. Let's get a shipyard in here. I want to do something nice and short, so we'll do a commercial hub investment. We'll trade there. Want the capital city to be pumping out stuff rapidly. All right, there we go. Uh, barbarians. We'll grab a barbarian artifact. We don't really care about it. We're just mostly looking for that little bit of extra culture from getting the relics. Or the artifacts. Sorry, not relics. Relics are a different thing. Sometimes I confuse those with my words. I'm going to renew that mission because they seem to want to steal from here. Um, six loyalty per turn. I'm going to pass on that Admiral. Let's see. Commercial hub investment completed. I say we queue up some more stuff. There's no reason not to do commercial hub investments, right? They provide gold. The city has everything it wants anyway. We don't want these buildings. Commercial hub investment. Um, I want to do something really short, so I'll just do another commercial hub investment because we want to get the flood barrier in here before things get too out of hand in the old flooding, uh, flooding department. We'll go to the next turn. Alrighty, I think things are things are coming along nicely. Special session. Oh! I will vote that down. I converted one city, guys. Come on. Oh, religious emergency, eh? It's a little bit odd, but okay. Uh, so we want to get flood barriers everywhere that it matters. It'll take 16 turns in here, 41 turns in here. Can I faith purchase that? No. Is is well is um Valletta in this game? 
No, I don't see a Valletta. Is that really going to take 41 turns? I guess it's based on the number of these tiles. I can't switch any of these tiles. Can't purchase them, which sucks. I guess we're just going to... Whoa, what was that noise? I heard like a random noise, but we've been going for like, so, damn, these things, these things rise in cost, ouch. So places with vulnerable, that's an important piece of information, places with vulnerable coastlines are going to be hard to protect in terms of production. That's 1,200 production, is that even worth doing? No, I, I actually don't think so, I think we just like, I think we just sacrificed these tiles, it's like way too expensive. 41 turns... We'll give it a go. We'll see. Not like this city is doing anything else anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.